you want to finish this? Yeah. Or do you want to Danish it? Oh, ho, ho. Well, it, like with this one, there's these little voids. See that void space there? So I think it's a classic problem of undersampling. It's typical with precipitation, it's hard to get all of it, you know? There's always some factors for undercatch. That's pretty good. See, it went all the way in flat. And the temperature at one meter is minus 110, it's minus 16. Ah. And we can compare this with the, the snow water equivalent that we measured with the two cores already. in eventually but while doing so we're kind of multitasking because we're also taking the cores out weighing them so that we know how heavy the precipitation is or how much how much snow fell since uh, 2019 in this case you can see that 2019 ice layer here is nice and tough clearly identifiable it's all good because it might slide out A good one. So then we'll get a relative accuracy. You just divide one by the other and you get something like 1.12 so then you have a 12 percent which is pretty good. Um, we, if we've got time we keep doing it until we get agreement within about 10 percent or at least with a larger sample you can put some error bars on it. Relative accuracy. what we're interested in is how much snow since the end of summer. So this is the summer. Looks good, huh? Perfect. So there, still looks good. <laughs> <laughs> I lost a gram on that. It's pretty high density if, if that's true. It's uh, 444 kilos per cubic meter. A really great pit. And the weather's not blowing, you know, it's amazing. Everything below that 
doesn't really count in this in this year. So. Maybe this is the hard part. So it's not a, it's not solid ice, right? It's a, it's just a, it melted quite a lot. Do you want to finish this? Yeah. Or do you want to Danish it? Oh, ho, ho. got it on camera. Ooh. What's Danish? <laughs> are we Finnish? <laughs> or, or are we Danish? Um, you can Norwegian it. Wow.